Hello, Heather. How are you? I'm good. I feel like a little nervous to do an interview to talk about myself. Okay. I was thinking on the way here, I usually talk about work or talk about stuff. And maybe I didn't do an interview where I tell you about myself before. But yeah. I'm also excited. Uh, even I am excited because Heather is my <laughs> teacher who taught yeah. me to make YouTube videos. Yeah, we met on a course last yeah. year, right? How are you? I'm good, actually. What brings you to Berlin? A ah, very good question. Uh, I came to Berlin um, one summer to do a summer project with a group called Interflux. Okay. And they were organizing in the university in the ODK. And um, they invited us to come for three weeks. And when I came here, I was really impressed because uh, there was so much community organizing and like, like people were trying to change things okay. more than I felt was happening in Glasgow where I lived. So I was like, okay, if I want to move to Berlin. Yeah. That was really nice. Now let's go to the main question. Is that what is that incident in your life which uh, completely changed your life? It's a life changing thing which even inspires you that you fought that and came out of that. What do you want to share? I was thinking about this question on the way here as well, like what changed my life. And I was thinking, I don't think I can pinpoint like a, an event that happened where I was like, and everything changed for me. Change has been like a, a slow process of like chipping away at mm -hmm. things. One thing that's changed for me, I think in the last 10 years has been coming from the UK and growing up in like the peripheries of Liverpool, where I think there was a lot of the culture was like a culture of addiction and um, consent was not used. There's like a lot of beautiful things about where I grew up, but a lot of harsh ways of being. And I think yeah. something that I learned being part of communities here was like, oh, you don't have to take drugs to yeah. spend time with people. Or there's like other things that you can do apart from just like get high. So I think when I moved here and started to be part of um, groups, like I'm part of two collectives. Yeah. One is called Lekin and one is called the Social Pleasure Center. And they're kind of like intertwined with each other, like two uh, tentacles of one project. Okay. And I think when I started to organize, like at first we started to organize parties mm -hmm. and then um, it was like a femme space about like making space for people to feel comfortable and femme bodies in a club scenario. Mm -hmm. And then um, we did our own security on the door and like kicked people out ourselves mm -hmm. if we felt like they were not able to um, idea by the like agreement that we've made of how you're nice to people in clubs mm -hmm. and this was i think uh, a really massive like shift in my understanding of like ah oh, i've been socialized to believe that like i should be quiet and i should accept everything how it is and i should just like uh like i shouldn't talk about my emotions i have to be polite and nice to everybody mm -hmm. and i think there was a point in like organizing where I realized like, no, you get to choose who you are and you should talk about your emotions. And like, sometimes it's awkward and you just do it anyway. Yeah. I feel like there's this, this curve of learning to like, not try and keep everything nice and comfortable, but try and go through the awkwardness and like claim space. No, I want to have my own culture. It doesn't have to be this nice, friendly, everything's fine. Like, I want to have a culture that is asking questions and making demands. And then I started to meet people who came from um, from dance or from music in Berlin and came to parties, but like they came for a different reason. Okay. Like um, they didn't come just to take drugs and have fun. Like they came because they loved to dance or they loved music. Mm -hmm. And this was kind of like for me, it was just like you can you can love stuff. And you can spend time doing things that are not about like um, just getting wasted. Yeah, exactly. And um, this was a big change. I felt like I had to let go of a lot of my skins. You know, like uh, I was like, okay, I wanna, I wanna try and, and live like this and not always be getting high all the time. Maybe as well, because at some point, if you get high all the time, your body starts to get sick all the time because it's a lot of toxic um, stuff for your body to process.
Uh, my next question is what is the message you want to give someone who is really sad and uh, i don't know he is trying to find a way out mm. or he is stuck in all this what is the message i would give to someone that's really sad i feel like very humble like in many ways i feel like i am like a like a cis white able body you know like my life is is quite easy in many ways i think mm -hmm. so i feel like always very cautious to not be like patronizing to say like ah just make connections or just do this or just do that because i think when i'm really struggling i kind of have to let go and wait for something to happen you know like uh not like not waiting in a passive way where I'm just like, oh, I'm not going to do anything, but more like in a patient way where I'm like, oh, I don't know what to do. I don't know where to go. I feel lost. And then um, I wait, but like wait with the hope that something's going to happen and I'm going to know what to do again at some point. Okay. Because um, I'm a youth worker, so I work a lot with teenagers. Mm -hmm. I think when I'm at my rock bottom, sometimes I always think of these kids who were like the masters of waiting for change because they didn't have any control in the situation. So they kind of like found a way to to make it bearable until they had control. If that makes sense. So yeah, that was Heather. And uh, she told things about her life and uh, how she got the chance to get a second life okay mm -hmm. so yes heather say <laughs> bye to everyone bye everyone thank you so please like <laughs> share subscribe <laughs> and comment our channel okay thank you yeah